Hello there. I wanted to share something and the reason why I'm focusing on moth pictures right now is because this is something that keeps popping up for me. Um, moths have showed up in my life in several ways and um, quite often in significant times in my life they've shown up and I've never really thought about it too much until recently and then um, I took a bath with those bath salts and went to go let my dogs out uh, about a week ago and when I shut the door, the back door, <laughs> this huge moth came in and landed on me. Don't worry, we got him safely outside, but as after that happened, it just came to me to go look up moth totem because I realized moths keep showing up so I wanted to look up what they represent as far as totems go so I'm just gonna read real quick um, what I found moth is a power animal symbol of transformation and transformation and transmutation just keeps popping up everywhere I turn so I thought okay let me see what it's saying. So it says, Moth's gifts include the power of the whirlwind, ease of movement in darkness and shadow, transformation, metamorphosis, ability to confuse enemies, ability to find light and darkness, hearing spoken and unspoken messages. Moths reside in all but polar regions. Their bodies, legs, and wings are covered with numerous touch hairs that come off if the moth is touched. They are highly sensitive to touch. And that's funny because I'm sensitive like that and I would not live in a polar region. They can feel, smell, taste, and tell the temperature with their feathery antenna, with the tiny pegs on them acting as receptors. The moth views everything clearly. Moth people usually have strong psychic and healing abilities and must watch out not to pick up on um, pick up others' problems and carry them around in their energy fields or confusion and irritability may occur. Metamorphosis is part of moth's magic. The egg stage is symbolic of the birth of an idea. The larva stage is the foundation. The chrysalis stage is symbolic of the manifestation. And the growing of wings symbolizes taking flight and exploring uncharted territory. An interesting trait of the moth is how they use their wings. A resting moth either wraps its wings around itself, holds them extended to the side, or folds the wings up. This implies a basic nurturing property, and moth people may find themselves in the role of caregiver. With their acute hearing, their hearing organs are located on their legs, giving them the ability to sense vibrations around them. The moth is able to detect ultrasound, pay attention to what is being spoken, and also the unspoken underlying messages and what is heard. Observe the body language of those around you and those you come in contact with if this is your power animal. Also pay attention to your sensitivity to others, the lacking side of it or the oversight of it. Perhaps you are in a situation that needs to be rethought. The moth is an optimist and opportunist with countless transformative properties. From them, we learn how to expand and perfect our inherent psychic abilities and how to let go of negative energies and unwelcome influences, helping us move into our personal power and happiness. So, I thought that was pretty cool. And so I've been thinking about moths quite a bit, and I just thought, you know, not very many people talk about moths as being a totem, and I've never really been super attracted to butterflies although I think they're lovely and you know they'll come up to me and stuff like that but um yeah I thought that was interesting and I just thought it would be worth sharing and also I wanted to share I did do a quick um, exploration with this messenger oracle deck and I they were very easy to shuffle, very easy to shuffle, one of the easier decks I had, but they're still not, it's not a flimsy card stock by any means. And these were the six cards that jumped out at me, so I thought I'd just share them real quick. We are all connected. It's a cool image, right? 
see the signs. That's a very cool image. Protect the wild and green. I love this. She's beautiful. You were born to create. Which I always like to hear something like that because I've always, my paying jobs have always been in the creative fields. Um, embrace the masculine. I haven't read what the books say about these cards, but um, there is the number 11 there, and that's my master number, so that's interesting. And I love the green man. So, green man, green woman. Then we have this wolf, and it says, Seek the Lesson. Hmm. So, <laughs> I think this was pretty cool. I'm going to play with these some more and do some other things, but I just wanted to uh, show you guys what was going on and share because I thought it was cool. All right. I hope everybody's going to have a good night. Talk to you later. Bye. Yeah, earlier there was a there was a car stuck in the middle of it and the water was up to the window. <laughs>